Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this uh, stat bars. So here you can see when I hover over a weapon, you can see attack, speed, stun. These stats of weapons and they are different for each weapon. So this is what we are going to work on today. How to show how we are going to add these uh, stat bar data types in into our data structures and then we are going to initialize them in our uh, item data table and then we are going to pull that data from the data table and show in the ui so yeah that's what we are going to do today and before we get started let me remind you that here is the full playlist of this project everything is explained here you can um, follow these steps and implement everything by yourself to the date there are uh, there are 185 videos episodes into this series and also here from my patreon page you will be able to access uh, project files link would be in the description once you become a member you will be able to access everything so not just this project there are uh, over 2000 videos uh, in my channel and for each video project files are available here so feel free to check it out i'll leave links to everything in description below and now let's get back to the today's episode right so the first thing is i here let me show what do we have right now if i open one of the weapons you can see when i hover over it I can see this uh, everything about the weapon but this attack speed stun these are just just hard-coded values they are not really uh, correct values in fact I don't have any data that represent those values in my data table so first thing is adding those data into my data table so my data table is in here yeah. but if i go to the data table details uh, now here i have three things common properties weapon properties and collectible properties they are based on these structures and this item data contains all those things so i think i should add stats under weapon properties so here let's add a new variable i i'm thinking of adding stats as a string integer map so that we can have whatever the name for the stats and they will be just displayed right now i'm not thinking about how to connect the stats that i define here to the actual things like damage amounts that will come later okay here let's call it uh, weapon stats and i'll change this to a string and then to a map so and then if i go to default values i like one element uh, let's say attack i'll keep the zero as the default value and oh, we don't need any new one another element speed and another element maybe stop everything is zero save this and if you go to data table now here under weapon stats i still don't see that data but i have the structure but i don't get those default values mm. something that i noticed is if i save only the weapon properties structure and close the project don't save anything else restart the project and 
everything that I had already. Now if I go here, see, now I have those default values correctly restored into the data table. Okay, now let's just add some values here for the sword, maybe 10, oh, sorry, 10, 10, 10, everything is 10, Pencil. 10, 10, 10, 11, 8, 20, red sword, attack, 25, Speed five, stun ten, fifteen. So for everything else, I leave it at zero. Mm, actually, no. For things like shields, these stats doesn't make sense, so I delete them. Helmet, what helmet? Maybe we should have different stats for those things, but let's first get the stats for weapons. Swords working first. Yeah, right. Now we have stats. Next step is getting them to show here. So first thing here, let me go to the widget of this details panel. And here, these values that you see, this stat, stat1, stat2, they are just hard coded values. Let me select all three and wrap with a vertical box. Okay. Now, the reason that it, I did that is I want to dynamically populate this. So I'll change this VB stats. Okay. And delete this. Let me up on this widget so that I have a rip. I know where it should be. Okay. Now delete this. And go here. This sec whole section is not used. Let me delete that too. So here, this is where I initialized with the fake values for the stat bars. Let me delete that too. Okay. Now, here in this initialized data section, I'll Let's add another function. Initialize tab. And I'll call it from here. Now we already have this item data. From this, we can get weapon properties and break it here we can access weapon stat and let me add a reroute node here hide unconnected pins now let's get keys and run a forage loop so what i'm going to do here is add in a stat bar for each key value pair okay now create widget using this stat bar 
लिखा है and the new stat value we can get it from the values Okay. Now here, get this and get a ref using this index. This will give us the value here. And I'll plug this to the new stat value. So I don't want to. Right now, I don't know what to worry about this old stat value or anything, but max stat value should be. I'm not sure about this as of now, but I'll just hard code 100 here. But later on, we need to change this. Maybe we should have a separate table that defines for each category, each type of stat, what is the maximum value, but not right now okay well, just to avoid having a magic number that value oh max okay it should be 100 yeah 100. okay mm, right and this should be added to the VB stats. Add child to vertical box. So like this that's better. All right, and one thing is now that we are adding children elements to the vertical box, next time when we want to preview a different weapon, we might need to clear those children. But let's first see if this part is working. I, yeah, see, now I see stat values. And see, when I try to preview another one, it says it's duplicated. Okay, so we need to avoid that. So to avoid duplicating, what we can do is here, get VB stats for your children. We should clear things out. Yeah, see? Maybe there should be some background. 
to this stat bar so here so let's wrap this with a border uh, no, there should not be any padding this color let's set to some gray color a bit transparent a bit more now it should be clear yeah it's better uh, okay other thing would be if i can align the numbers to the right that might be might look better okay uh but actually the numbers should align with the equipment so let's worry about the indentation later uh the other thing is i need to check is yeah see for the shield we don't see any of these stats for the helmet same so as I said, we might need to have some different set of stats for armors. Let's say defense. Then, okay, let's just say this appears correctly. Build, yeah, defense 10. Okay, so that's fine, but I want to take time to have the best, like, properly look into what kind of stats that i would need for um these uh, shields and other armor components so we can apply those values here so i'm just gonna stop this episode right here okay and thanks for watching as always updated updated files will be available for download here in the patreon page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in another episode. Goodbye.